In this tutorial we learn how to use the integrated sys interpretation module in version 3.2. We will interpret a deltaic sand shale sequence of tertiary age located in the Dutch sector of the North Sea. We have auto-tracked the grown stratigraphy on one seismic line between two mapped horizons using the data-driven mode. The upper scene shows the seismic line with overlain grown stratigraphy in the normal or structural domain. The lower scene shows the grown stratigraphy of the same line in the Wheeler transformed domain. This is the flattened or stratigraphic domain where the vertical axis represents relative geologic time. We pop up the SIS interpretation module by clicking on the corresponding icon. Let's first look at the different elements in this window. Under setup you can specify the sequence stratigraphic model that you wish to use. SIS supports the five most widely used models in the industry. Please be aware that each model has its own naming convention for system tracts and stratigraphic services and that sequence boundaries are set at different positions in the base level curve. In the left part of the window we see two Gronerstadt sliders, one for the base and one for the top. Below it you see two fields indicating relative geologic time and absolute geologic time at the position of the Gronerstadt sliders. The colored bar shows the current system tracts interpretation. The names on the right side belong to the stratigraphic services that separate the system tracts. To the right we see the base level curve that was reconstructed from the system tracts interpretation. Note that also the important events such as sequence boundaries and end of regression cycles are marked in this curve. To the far right of the window we see a column with absolute geologic time. In this interpretation no absolute times were available, hence the column displays question marks only. We shall now start an interpretation from scratch. The sediment source in this deltaic setting is from the right, so land is on the right and the sea is on the left. We use the Gronerstadt slider to reconstruct the deposition from the bottom upwards. Initially we see in both the structural domain and the Wheeler transform domain that the layers are building up towards the right, it is landwards. This is called retrogradation or backstepping and is characteristic for a transgression. Now click on the insert to insert a new boundary in the system tracts column. Right click on the unit and assign the transgression system tracts. Note that the software automatically reconstructed the base level curve and marked a point in the base level curve as the end of transgression. The service at the top of the transgression is a maximum flooding service, here indicated as MFS1. If the absolute age of the transgressive system tract is known, right click again on the unit and assign the absolute geologic age for example from 18 to 20 million years. We will now interpret the next unit. First move the slider down and observe the green color for the previous unit indicating the transgressive system tract. Now move the slider up and observe that the center of deposition in the wheeler domain is shifting towards the left, it has seawards. In the structural domain we see aggradation, it has building upwards and progradation, it has building outwards. This is characteristic for a normal regression. The position of this unit with respect to the shore phase and the unconformity above leads our interpretation for this unit to be a high stand system tract. So again we insert a boundary and assign the interpreted system tract and we optionally give it an absolute geologic age. Note that this unit is colored orange in the structural domain. If we continue adding geologic time we observe deposition initially takes place in the deep marine environment. These units are interpreted as turbidites. On the right side we have a sub-aerial unconformity. These observations are characteristic for a forced regression and the unit is called a falling stage system tract. Again we insert a new boundary and assign the system tract and the absolute age. Note that the software marked the end of the base level fall as the sequence boundary. This is a direct result of our choice to use sequence stratigraphic model 4 which puts the sequence boundary at the end of the forced regression. Note that the software allows us to save all bounding services as horizons by pressing the save all horizons button. Instead of continuing this interpretation we will now cancel the current interpretation and load a stored complete interpretation. In this interpretation all bounding surfaces were saved. The saved horizons are already loaded in this scene. We only have to toggle them on to see them.
these surfaces separate the system's tracts. For a better view we toggle the system's tracts on and off. And to optimally see the bounding surfaces we switch off the seismic display as well. This concludes this tutorial on the SIS interpretation module.